Hello, I hope everybody's had a wonderful Christmas day. It's already December the 26th in the Southern Hemisphere and um, December the 26th will mean different things to different people. In England, December the 26th is known as Boxing Day and that's not because it's the day we box up our used wrapping paper for the dustmen. It's because in the Middle Ages, arms boxes were opened on the 26th, the feast day of St. Stephen, and the money that had been collected in those arms boxes throughout the year were distributed to the poor of the parish. To hands across the sea samplers, the 26th means it's our birthday. We are three years old today. On the 26th of December 2015, we released our first reproduction sampler, Miss Mary Ann Bournes. We wouldn't have made it to our third birthday if it wasn't for you supporting us. So thank you very much. We decided to celebrate um, our third birthday by releasing Jane Bannister, 1855. And the reason that we chose Jane was that since we have shown some sneak peeks of our uh, Nashville 2019 samplers being uh, stitched. We have had so many emails about this sampler and um, people have been saying to us, please don't wait until March next year, we want to stitch her now. And we can understand that because the moment we saw this sampler, we wanted to reproduce her straight away. Um, when she arrived, Sandra, fell head over heels in love with this sampler. So Jane went off to Australia and Sandra spent countless hours reproducing this sampler stitch by stitch. She is a very, very authentic reproduction. And um, we were so thrilled when Leona Sweeney, who lives in Australia, um, agreed to stitch her for us. And Leona's stitching is perfection. Um, this is truly an um, Australian reproduction of a Welsh sampler. Um, so we had to launch this as soon as it was morning in Australia on the 26th of December. Um, when we first saw this sampler, our eyes um, immediately sort of notice the colour. It was the colour that attracted us to this sampler. But when we clicked on the photograph on the auction site, our eyes went straight to this motif in the bottom left hand corner. It's two beautiful tabby cats playing with a ball. Then our eyes went to the right hand bottom corner where there's two little girls in bloomers walking past a cat watching them. This border isn't it gorgeous? It is so, so beautiful. There's lots and lots of flowers in the sampler. There's hearts, birds, butterflies, and two very traditional Welsh motifs of sailing ships. Um, we thought this sampler was Welsh from the moment we saw it, but it was up for sale with a Welsh auction site. And when the sampler came, there was a label on the back of the sampler that was very, very old, and it probably was the original framing label. And that was uh, from Carnarvonshire. We looked for Jane Bannister, and we found a few possible Janes, but Sandra had also found another sampler that was practically identical to Jane, stitched by Mary Martin and finished um, in 1856. We found Mary Martin and Jane Bannister in the civil birth registrations for 1848 um, in the district of um, Carnarvonshire and in particular for the island of Anglesey. We found Mary and Jane both living on this small island off the Menai Straits of Wales. Um, we also know that um, Jane married Samuel Roberts and they had four children. It's always so special 
when you find the little girls that stitch these samplers, it brings them to life somehow. Um, and it's lovely to know that Jane made it through childhood and she married and she had her own family. If you don't find the girls, you can still get a feel for them and their outlooks and their lives through um, the history of the time and the history of um, the area or the country in which they lived. We had great fun um, researching um, the area in which she lived. The island of Anglesey is such a pretty place and you might have heard of the island because when Prince William and Catherine first lived together, they lived in a rented farmhouse on this island whilst Prince William worked and trained as a search and rescue helicopter pilot. Um, I fell in love with the Isle of Anglesey through um, Sharon Penman and her books, Here Be Dragons. There are so many chapters that take place on the island. If you visit Wales, make sure you go and visit the Isle of Anglesey. It's full of um, Celtic mystery and charm. Um, we wrote about um, Jane and the area in which she lived in her booklet. And there are four pages of information and you'll notice that this booklet is cat themed. Well, what else could the theme of the booklet be with such a beautiful motif? The graph um, is in full colour and it's nine squares to the inch. So it's very easy on the eye to work from the graph. Um, we did um, a centrefold spread in the booklet. You'll find that these are standard in our booklets now. We know from our stitchers how you enjoy seeing such a close-up photograph in the booklet and we also know how much you love our bookmarks. So of course Jane has a bookmark with um, her um, booklet and we list all the colours so you can work from this um, as you're working uh, through the booklet. When we saw um, this um, image of a young girl stitching with a cat sat next to her, um, it had to be Jane in our minds. So this is Jane Bannister to us. Um, her booklet is 32 pages and it is available on our website and in stores throughout the world. If you purchase the booklet from our website, shipping is capped at two pounds worldwide. It doesn't matter how many booklets you order, you will only ever pay two pounds shipping. Um, but don't forget about your store as well. Store owners were so excited when we showed them this sampler that many of them um, put in their order straight away. So these booklets are in stores around the world for you to order today. Uh, she's on our website as well if you want to order through us. Um, because um, this sampler um, is a very Australian uh, sampler, Linen and Threads, Karen and Brendan Kirk, um, an Australian store um, have uh, decided to um, organise a stitch along for 2019. So please visit their website for details of that stitch along. And um, as you're stitching the sampler, please post lots of photographs. We love seeing photographs of our samplers and Sandra and I will never get over or lose um, the thrill of every photograph we see of our work. Um, and when you finish a Hands Across the Sea sampler, please send us a photograph. Um, every sampler has its own web page and we have a customer gallery where we like to include your photographs. Um, I think that's probably about all. About, oh, hang on, I haven't told you something quite important. 
Her stitch count is 309 by 319, 319. So she is almost square. Uh, she's stitched in 32, sorry, 32 different shades of silk. Um, she was originally stitched in wool on Penelope canvas and that canvas is closest in colour to DMC shade 422. Um, we haven't counted every single stitch but we know from the computer program that um, there are 49,955 stitches and those are cross stitches over two except for a very small handful of over one stitches which are in these flower heads here and here but you could easily tweak the chart so that those are over two which would make this sampler uh, suitable for stitching on Ada. We have a lot of um, customers who like to stitch on Ada so ladies this is a good sampler for that. Um, I hope I've covered everything. Um, I'm done this video as a live video um, but I am posting this onto YouTube because I find that it's a better quality than going live directly on Facebook when I film from home we have such terrible internet connection here our upload speeds are very slow so <clears throat> although this is live um, and I may have forgotten something if there's any more questions you have please message me and um, I will be delighted to help you. Thank you for listening and um, thank you for supporting Hands Across the Sea Samplers and um, hooray, it's our third birthday. Thank you. Bye bye.